Hey guys, VGM here, and I'm back with another Vanguard unboxing. Last one of the uh, ones I got, and, and, like all the, around the same time. There was four of them. There's Rampage of the Beast King. And let's get started. Right. Okay. From here, I'm hoping to get School Punisher Leopold. Not School Punisher, I'm School, school Hunter Leopold. School Punisher Leopold is the reverse version. It's, it's one of the three reverse versions I, I that's the yeah it's one of the three reverse cards I actually have I have Luke Ye, I have Leopold I forget Luke Ye's name Leopold's school Punisher Leopold and then I have I was just named um Dauntless Dominant Dragon reverse and I don't have any of the regular versions so yeah I actually don't have any, <laughs> so if I, so basically, if I get Leopold from here, I'll actually have a reversed unit. So we actually have a promo card here too. Almost forgot about this, Alfred Early. Another reason I wanted to get this: the lovely promo card of Alfred Early that comes with this. It's a good. It's often really actually pretty good. Definitely a cool card too. Okay. Have it Alfred Early. This is the, actually the only way to get him too. I guess I'll focus again apparently. And there we go. Yeah, but apparently this is like the only way to get him too, so there we go. And, and now we have the truth back. Um there's also the other promo card that is another one promo card that's the only one I'm able to get. It's a Gosh Hawk Liberator, um, and then the kind of Shadow Paladin version of Alfred. Um, what's the name? I'm trying to think of it. The Dark Dictator. That's Shadow Paladin. It's basically Shadow, a kind of a Shadow Paladin version of Alfred. Alfred Early is something completely different. Okay, anyway, we have Dreamy and My Night. We've got Hula Hoop Capybara, Doctor, not yeah, Doc Doctroid Malus, Mad Hatter of Nightmare Land, and School Dom Dominator Act. Okay, so yeah, hopefully this will help me actually make a Great Nature deck. It should because like the main cards for this are Great Nature. Oh, this should help me actually make my great nature deck because I only have a few great nature cards. Dreamy Fortress, Element Glider, Greedy Hand, Ooh, Greedy Hand, that's actually not a bad card. Hungry Egg of Nightmare Land, and then we have here Evil Eye Basilisk. So far, I'm seeing like a lot of dark regulars, I'm seeing a lot of Pale Moon, two Pale Moon here and there. And then, of course, um, and of course, we're seeing Great Nature. Pretty hands are actually pretty good. Head actually uses them in that way. Right now, I'm using as my Dark Regular starting Vanguard. Um, I'm using Vermilion Gatekeeper, TikTok Flamingo, Seesaw Game Winner. D Disciple of Pain. Okay, that's an interesting name for Gold Palin, too. Flyer Flyer. And Thermometer Giraffe. I don't think I've ever seen the design for the like, the actual hollow design on these cards. Before. And they're set before, so it's definitely new for me. Schoolyard Prodigy Locks. Well, there's an interesting thing. Normally, the Grade Zero units of uh, Evolutionary by Jane are uh, usually a rare card. That's interesting. Well, often they are. At least they often they often are. Sometimes they're not though. There we go. There's, if I can get the whole, full set, I might actually use that. As I like to make separate decks for actual Evolutionary rides. 
beast in hand. Because it's a little more based around getting an evolutionary ride instead of actually playing the, just the Battle Sisters Soffle. Fortune Braining Cat. And, ooh, Law Official Locks. Well, there's the Grade 2 one. Which means we just need, I just need the Grade 1 and the Grade 3. That's why I need Bringer of Knowledge Locks. And the other one's name I forget. And it's actually right on the package too. It's actually on the box and on the front of the packs and everything too. I forget the name. Okay, so we have Jumpy Glen, Feather Penguin, yay penguins, <laughs> Master of Pain. What's with the pain in Gold Paladins? I get. Oh, I, I, well, I guess that some Shadow Paladins are also. I guess the physical paladins are forming out of shadow paladins and world paladins. Makes sense. Alarm chicken. And ooh. Pencil hero hamske. There we go. Uh, yeah, the pencil hero. There's also a like pencil squire. Pencil knight. Not really an evolutionary line. They're more of allowing you to actually keep on bringing them out. Keep on bringing them out. He has great nature. It's a little bit like Tachikaze, where it evolves, it revolves around like getting rid of, like actually sacrificing units, but basically, they also have the your units just kind of like Tachikaze have an effect that activate when they're sent to the drop zone. But, and some of effects when they're, the most of them I think are either they send them to the drop zone or they'll have their effects activate when they're sent to the drop zone, rather than having some ones that send them drop zone and then ones that activate when a unit is in the drop zone. But like, they actually help punish the actual units, so it's a little bit different. Mil yeah. Multimeter Giraffe, Hula Hoop Cavabara, Mirage Maker, Poison Juggler, and Flask Marmoset. I remember this was used as a starting variant for nature. Okay. Interesting ability camp. Actually, Great Nature was actually the first clan to receive uh, grade 4. For those of you who don't know, I did open it. I did open, I get one. As a, it's a promo card in a, in a set. So I did have had that in my unboxing one time. Because it's a, at, it's just a promo card and it's, you can't be put in a deck anymore. So basically, unless you unless you are, are fighting against someone and you're okay with them using it or someone's okay with you using it, it's actually not really a card that you can use because it can't be put in a deck past February 28th of 2012. Because it's like, well, I've been, what I've read about it was like, it was a test of grade four. Of course, now we have an official grade four. The first, basically the first one that's actually allowed to be used from now on, which is a Divine Dragon Progression, which is an Akaze, of course. Thumbtack Fighter Resonari, Innocent Magician, let me just take a look at that crap real quick. Oh, that's so nice, such great. Battle Sister Soffle, Fortune Brain Cat, and there you go, Pencil Squire Hamske. So they're not an evolutionary line, but more of that, yeah, that when it gets sent to the drop zone, you actually can get get another one from your deck, the like counterblasting. So a lot of great nature cards based kind of around that. They're all based around animals mixed with like school supplies or something really at the school. Oh, look at this one for example, Calculator Hippo. I forget if if um magnet crocodile is, or alligator is in this one. I'm pretty sure it's magnet alligator. Girl who crossed the gap. That's Oracle Guardian Shis Shisa. It's a lot of some Oracle think tanks in here. Ruler chameleon. See what I mean? And thermometer, thermometer giraffe. So I guess it goes with the other one. Multimeter giraffe. As you can see, they're all based around basically like school supplies and other school related objects 
and animals. Well, here we go, my second Nightmare Doll now. Nightmare Doll Amy, even though she's a common. And I went and got this Nightmare Doll Chelsea. Chesla, I think it was, something like that. Not actually a bad effect or anything I think about it, even though it's Mega Blast. It can activate some effects. And like, you actually get out some hell move from, you know, from, rear, from your soul to uh, bring back the rear guard after they've moved his soul to actually activate abilities. It's the Magician, Explosion Scientist Bunta. Basically, he'll deal damage to you, and then later on, you can get the damage back. Uh, basically, it helps you if you're not at 4 damage already, and you want to activate either like a break ride or a limit break, and you're at like 3 damage, then you can use this ability. Dictionary Goat, and Bull's Eye Mia. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I'm just like noticing now, like... The actual design seems like it's in the shape. The actual design of the hollow are actually in the shape of an atom. So that's pretty cool. Okay, hopefully, we'll see. School Punisher. Not School Punisher. School Hunter earlier. Canvas Koala. Element Glider. Moon Salt Swallow. It's basically like that. It's basically one that you do to do to return to your hand afterwards, but after it's boosted attack. Um, Cracker mu musician and peekaboo. Okay, that's an interesting one. Definitely fits into the pale moon. Yeah, art just fits into the pale moon. No questions there. That's an interesting In fact, you soul blast the color from your soul. And at the end phase, it gets put back into the soul. I can see how that could help. It's like some pale moon units actually do have effects to activate upon you calling on you from your soul. Dreamy Fortress. Demon Cherry of the Witching Hour. Now these are the cards and dark riders that test you use that you have multiple if you have multiple copies of them in soul. They gain power. Moon Salt, Moon Salt Swallow, Popcorn Boy, and there we go. That's what I was talking about. Magnet Crocodile. I was pretty sure it was Crocodile. It's basically, it's a basic great nature, but still, still basic ones. They are def sometimes they're really cool looking, and sometimes they're all so uh, good for placeholders. It's not like you're a fleet basic, guys. They're just regular, plain. 10,000 power, grade 3, it's your 10,000 power, grade 3, I guess it has 2,000 power boost if you have a Vanguard of the same clan, and it's in the Vanguard or Vanguard position when it attacks. Yeah, you have to tie a Vanguard. Yeah, it's a tie a Vanguard, too. What's your price for See, so game loser has to go with the winner, like how type rope tumbler goes with type rope walker. Failure scientist Ponchi. Aw, it's adorable. Just look at its eyes. Aww. It's got like Bunta's ability too. Hope Child Teriel. Ruler Chameleon. And another Pencil Hero Hamskite. Yeah, so that helps with you know, filling the deck. I'm gonna I put multiple of them in my deck so I can use their abilities. You do need to have multiples of the Pencil. Of the multiples of Hamskite. You can't really say pencil or anything because they're all different. So calculator hippo. Pencil night hamster, okay, there we go. So he's like the is he like the only one that's common in the chain? Rune Weaver. Dark Knight of Nightmare Land and Emerald Witch Lala. Ooh. There we go. Now can we get the other witch that's in this? The actual grade zero witch. He's he's actually worked together. There's sort of an evolutionary chain. I 
or Story of Evolutionary Chain. Because, um, they all work together. I do actually have a Coco, too. I don't have the actual grade zero story, which you start off with. So basically, it's more, it's like about clearing out your soul to activate their abilities. And some, and that's why some actual Oracle Think Tank units actually work upon clearing out your soul. Instead of actually having cards in your soul, or having hard, like some, a lot of times you're going to see you have cards in your hand, or you have cards in your soul. With with Oracle thing, but with this, it's that you're getting rid of cards in your soul, and it also helps you get cards in your hand. So you have Millimeter Draft, Pinky Piggy, Beautiful Harp Harpuia, Harpua, Popcorn Boy, and Yes! I know this is, I'm pretty sure this is a Joel Rare, a special rare as well. I remember seeing, like, on, I remember seeing this one on the comments for Mary G. Sing. It was like, like, oh, I didn't get the, pro I didn't get Luke Yay as my, pro as a promo card. But uh, is Luke is, I believe, a promo card in the Jap in the Japanese one. But uh, a lot of times we don't get the promo cards to get in Japan. And we, instead we get them as part of the pack. And there it is. Silver Thorn B Dragon Tamer Luke. Now I can use both my Re Luke Reverse and my Cross Ride I got. I have two Luke Reverses. I have two Luke Reverses. One of them I got on camera. One of them I got off camera with that is actually opening singular packs. Like I was just get this was before I started recording it all together too. So. And I got as you well, you saw the one that I got on camera from by first white race and you saw that I got the actual new crosswide one from uh, what's the name of that? I already forgot it. If it were birth. And I don't know if it's special rare or triple rare, but it's one of the two. Anyway, there we go. Silver Thorn Dragon Tamer Lukie. Nice. Well, there we go. Now I can actually use a reverse unit. And hopefully, maybe I'll get Leopold too. Because else Lukie is going to help me with my Pale Moon deck. Of course, now I, need to make, I do need to make a Silver Thorn deck. My effect's pretty good too. See so, ya. Yeah. See, that's how, uh, see, if you look at its effect, it, if whenever a Pale Moon unit is placed from your soul onto the rear circle, we take gains an extra 3,000 power. And that's why a lot of these cards are actually perform that action. Now, this left pack of the left side, that's also why a lot of cards act. That's also uh, helps with our ability, because her ability actually call, as you call, up to 1 grade 0, grade 1, and grade, grade 2, and grade 3 unit from your soul. To the rear guard position. Uh, that's, that's definitely a good effect, too. Okay, now I definitely need to make a second deck. I've been planning on doing it, and now I definitely have to. So you have Acorn Master, Cyber Beast, Doctoroid Micros, Ruler Chameleon, and Emblem Master. That effect is actually pretty good when it hits a Vanguard. It's basically, um, Battle Mane is Sahome from Genesis, where it hits a Vanguard and you Soul Charge 3. Whether it's in the rear guard, and you kind of must want a Soul Charge 3. Nice. Okay, so. I'll probably have to put that in my deck now, because that's definitely a good effect. Red Pencil Rhino, Oracle Guardian Sh Shisa, Greedy Hand. Dark Knight of Nightmare Land and Battle Sister Great eh, Class A. I'm pretty sure also got yeah, I did get Black I got I got Battle Sister Class A from Celestial Valkyries. She's one of the ones that actually she actually has an ability that works off of no cards and soul. She has no cards and soul, she gains three thousand power whenever she attacks. Dreamy Ammonite. Seesaw game winner. Hope Child Turiel, Triangle Cobra, and Fire Breeze Carry. Okay, another interesting one. And again, it's basically a Maiden of Libra. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, Maiden of Libra is the first unit to actually have the effect, whether it's on the rear guard or vanguard position, if it makes a successful attack against any, if it makes a successful attack, you have to kind of bust two and draw a card. Acorn Master, 
Thumbtack Fighter Rezonori, Disciple of Pain, Chester Cat, I remember that. I think it's the last one that we haven't seen yet. And Binoculus Tiger. And Binoculus Tiger is actually a good card, to, for sure. It's got the same design as Lugia. Does that mean Lugia is like double rare or something? Or is it or is Binoculus Tiger also triple rare? It's special rare. Possible. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know which one I should have. Globe Armadillo. Canvas. Yeah. Can yeah, Canvas Gloss. Right the first time. Never mind. Devil in Shadow. I was reading it, yeah. I was looking at it and just reading the flavor text. Flyer, flyer. And our law official locks. Okay, and then if we're getting law official locks, then what about. Can we get a school under Leopold? Or maybe the actual grade 1 and grade 3 locks? The grade 1 not, bringer of knowledge locks and the grade 3 whose name I still cannot remember. As if on cue. <laughs> Seriously. So, I'm guessing the grade 2 and the grade 3 are the only ones that are, aren't actually rare. It's normally the grade the one is the only one that's not rare, and the grade 0 is there. But anyway, there we go. Brainer of Knowledge Locks. So, what's the file for then? Can we find... Is it on here? Guardian of Truth Locks. There we go. I found it on... on, on all official locks. There we go. Bring of knowledge locks. We have one of them now. We have two of the grade two, and we have none of the grade three. Girl across the gap. Mirage maker. Mad Hatter of Nightmare Land, and Spring Breeze messenger. There we go. There's a gold paladin I recognize from the show. I'm pretty sure. Um. Was it, um, sh was it Shadow in the White Moon? No, um, Hair in the White Moon or something like that? No, oh, sh it was something like that. Helenor? Well, it's like Shadow in the White Hair, Eleanor or something like that? I forgot the name. Nightmare Doll Amy. Seesaw Game Loser. Doctoroid Megalos. Hungry Egg of, Ma of Nightmare Land. And, ooh, I'm gonna start the car there. Sky Witch Nana. There's one I don't recognize. Oh, it's got a bit of a unique effect too. And it gains 3,000 power. It is your Vanguard and all of any cards in the soul. It gains 3,000 power permanently. Oh no, during your turn. Oh, no, I, th and I, I saw the continuous. I didn't see. I was looking for. I was wondering was it's permanent? And I read it and say, nope, just during your turn. As I was say, if it was permanent, that'd be insane. Having a cross ride unit without having to have a cross ride, they would pretty much ride, need to ride Coco before you ride Nana. Because then you have no ill way of getting cards like Soul Seer. can do it like just Soul Blast. Red Pencil Rhino. Oh, he's like, um, Eyes and Google. Failure Scientist Pun Pangichi. He's not a failure, he's adorable. That's what he is. Devil in Shadow. Flyer Flyer, and. Photon Archer Griffith. Griffith? Kind of looks like Messenger. It looks kind of like these Messenger of Spring Breeze. Yeah, he's definitely like him. He's definitely based along with him because that means he called Messenger of Spring Breeze. Because the last you call a unit from your Gold Paladin from your deck is rest. Like, tap it to their deck and call it rest. And he, if. You, and. When he attacks, when his attack hits the banger, he kind of busts too. And you can stand a resting gold paladin unit, so... They definitely seem to go together. And look, because they look a lot alike, too. Okay. So we have... Pinky Piggy. Blow Barmadillo. Demon Bike of the Witching Hour. That's the other one besides Demon Chair of the Witching Hour. So I only have one of each of them, though, so it's not really much good. Triangle Cobra and... Lopier Shooter. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of, I think it goes again with... Hel... 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 Uh, Helidor, where it short is. 
what's messed up there. I'm pretty sure he goes with ha I mean, grab one with those down the So when he's cold, it's a spear call from the deck to your rear circle. You actually can spear your ride him. Okay. School bag, sea lion, cyber beast, battle sister eclair. And about sisters are based off of food. A lot of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all the battle sisters because Nagisu Hime is a battle maiden. But all sisters are based off of food. If you haven't noticed, cream, cookies, chocolate, eclair. Yeah, they're all based off of food. I'm trying to think of another one off the top of my head. Waffle. All based off food. You got the basic search for uh, Great Three Units in Clan, Speed Around, and Listener of Truth. Didn't, yeah, didn't drain. Yeah, so she goes along with the kind of set of this. She, like, a lot of the other ones, like the Lopier, like Lopier Shooter, they're all, like, based on rabbits. So a lot of, so a lot of those gold pounds are just, like, going together because they're based off rabbits. Which goes along with Rampage the Beast King. But we're not seeing that one or Feather Penguin, Beautiful Harpua, Greedy Hand, Popcorn Boy, and another Lop Ear Shooter. So we haven't seen School Hunter Leopold, um, Guardian of Truth Locks, and Lop Ear. Uh, Ear um, Hair in the Moon Shadow. Eleanor. There we go, another demon chariot of the witching hour. Now we've got two, so now I can actually use it spec. Doctoroid Micros. Drawing Dread. Oh yeah. He's got an interesting effect. For sure. Fortune Bringing Cat. And Courting Succubus. I don't have. I forget what, the, what Succubus is that. I, I, I forgot the name of the sub was that is that I don't have. So I know I don't. I read, oh, it's Lore's Ghost. That's why I don't have that. Or just let, when you call it, it soul charges. So I'm pretty sure Cory Succubus has, uh, has the same ability as one of the Succubus. Okay. Yeah, I saw something. The Great Zero Locks. Well, School Yard Prodigy Locks. That's actually a matter of the old glove because it's only common, so I don't have to worry about getting multiple as rare. I have two Brainer of Knowledge Locks and two. I have one School Yard Prodigy, which is all I need. I've got two Brainer of Knowledge Locks. And I have two Law Official Locks. There we go. I was looking at everything, I was just thinking of it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Beast in Hand, Battle Sister Claire, Dictionary Go, and there we go. There's what I was talking about the Great Zero, Little Witch Lulu. So it allows you to call out when it, when a Grade 3 Oracle Think Tank rides it. And you take, choose two Oracle Think Tanks, two Grade 2, two great Oracle Think Tanks from your soul, and then you drop some, and then it's based on Regard Circle, for your soul, and you get a draw card. That's how you get cards out of your soul, basically. If you have any more cards in your soul, then that's a problem. So what do we have? Two packs? Nope. Yeah, I was right. Three. Right the first time. Yes. <laughs> I said two. I was thinking three. I said I, I, three. No, no, I'll say two. I'll go two. And I went two. And then, nope. It was three. And I was right with my initial, I guess. Jumping Glen. School Bag Sea Lion. Mirage Maker. Hungry Egg of Monsterland and Spring Breeze Messenger. Okay, so we, so we haven't really seen too many really rare cards. We haven't seen really too many really rare cards in this set. Anyway, we got Luke eh? We got Alfred Early. No, he's just a promo card. We still have him. We still have Alfred Early. And we got another school year project. That's why I have two of everyone except I don't have a single grade three. TikTok Flamingo, Master of Pain, Alarm Chicken, and Corny Succubus. Okay, last pack. I'm back. Sorry, there, my camera ran out of space because I didn't take the other three recordings off. And after doing this fourth one, 
and that's the fourth recording to add on to the other three full recordings. And that just resulted in my camera just completely running out of space. Anyway, last pack. And my camera unfo unfocused, of course. So, Pencil Knight Hamske. Devil in Shadow. Explosion Sinus Boonta. Chester Cat of Nightmare Land. And, uh, Free Traveler. Oh well. I definitely did good though. No complaints here. Didn't do bad at all. That's decent. Would have loved to see um, school school hunter Leopold. Anyway, the promo card. Alfred Early. Really nice card. I design everything. It's a good card too, so. There's really nothing bad about it. And then, of course, I think it might be Triple Rare. Silver Thorn Dragon Tamer Luke Again, <laughs> this is what I am on in the comments for actually. I think this is even the one I ordered too. Like, I, I they gave it a one star rating just because he's. And they said that Luke was not in the pack as a promo card. Even though Luke doesn't come as a promo card, Alfred Early does. But Luke comes in the Japanese version, if I remember correctly. As I was looking at this, as originally like looking at all different cards and everything, I was looking at all different sets for like the first time when I was first getting, like I was first starting Vanguard out. So I was Vanguard. As looking at all different sets, I remember seeing like Luke as a promo card for Japanese version. But if I, most promo cards, unless it says otherwise, all Japanese promo cards are put into the set as cards in the U.S. version. So, well, not the U.S., but the English version, or basically, if it's not a Japanese version, whatever it, like, the Japanese has their own exclusive promo cards, whereas other, whereas other, uh, ver like other languages of it don't don't actually have it, and his person was getting the English version too. So, they were getting it, and they said, "Oh, they, they gave it a one star because Luke wasn't in there as a promo card because they didn't get Luke a as a promo." Is it supposed to be used as chat? They would probably look at the, look at the Japanese version on the wiki or whatever. <laughs> Either that or they're like, oh, I didn't get Luke A in one of my packs, so I just give it a one star. I just give it a one star rating. It was just hilarious. I just laughed at that for a while. Some people just don't know what they're talking about. I'm definitely happy I got myself a Luke A. Anyway, guys, I've been VGM. Until next time, bye.